Welcome to Digital Marketing News for Tuesday, March 20th. I'm your host, Jay Osterholm. In today's news, Facebook adds their interest list, the new iPad overheats, and a new site borrows from friends to create a travel guide. When Facebook introduced Timeline, it overshadowed the addition of an intriguing new feature called the interest list. Within this feature, users can subscribe to different news feeds centered around a specific subject. These lists will show content from any, of your, any Facebook page you choose. For example, if you make a list uh, for basketball, you can draw from the pages of your favorite athletes, teams, sports, sports channels, or analysts. The interest list, as it's called, offers a unique opportunity for user-generated brand exposure. Once a list is created, other Facebook users can add it to their profile, and any organization who contributes content to that list is shared with it as well. Uh, once added, an organization can help spread these lists by sharing them with fans, promoting them through other platforms, and making sure they are visible on the top of their page. Most importantly, the interest list rewards creative content. Those brands who work to engage their fans will have an easier time soliciting list shares than those that don't. Organizations will have to adapt their Facebook content to account for the new feature. New iPad owners are getting a little hot and bothered over their devices. Complaints have been surfacing on Apple discussion boards and tech forums about the tablet's uncomfortable heat. After only 30 minutes of use, the temperature of the back of the iPad has been recorded anywhere from 92.6 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 117. In some cases, the heat is so bad that the tablet displays an error message saying, quote, the iPad needs to cool down before you can use it. Apple has always demonstrated the utmost confidence uh, in their products and it is famous for replacing defaulty devices free of charge to the consumer. Uh, to maintain their brand loyalty, Apple will have to continue this method of customer service even at the high cost of replacing it. If for some reason you didn't trust the experts at Zagat, try TripBirds. The new site collects travel-related posts from your connections on Foursquare, Facebook, and Instagram and organizes it all by destination. TripBirds, as it is known, will also display which of your connections have been to that particular place and if users wanted to add any further advice. TripBirds follows a growing trend of location-based social media as people find it more convenient to go to their friends for travel, dining, and entertainment recommendations. To augment these references, people will look up the social media page or website of these places as well. Because of this, it is becoming more and more important for businesses to create a strong digital persona.